Thanks, valued customer. Why is this taking so long? Take good care of that now. All right, a deal's a deal, no take backs. Thanks. God, I hate giving this stuff up. Ah, pleasure doing business with you. Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. You better treat that purchase like it's Christine Aguilera. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. There's my favorite Bounty Hunter. You got it! That was a great transaction of food for money! Goodbye! Thanks for that much needed touch. his crown and Jill came tumbling after Gary and Jill ran up the hill to fetch a pail of water Gary fell down and broke his crown all right here's the skinny you're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh shit, another Gatlion! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay. Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Dispatch 146. You have a 1052 double DOA call at the Dickinson farm. I'm beginning dispatch 146. You have a double DOA 1052 call at the Dickinson farm. Oh man, the scanner could be helpful if you want to use it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be pushy. It's only if you want it. What is 
with this crowd? I heard they added like 50 new ports. Can't wait to get all those adapters. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just cause High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Let us see. They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. But hey, what's the difference, am I right? Come on, I'm doing really great social commentary over here. You want to go to the Hyperbong Midnight Lunch too? So you're a sheeple, just like them. Hey, pal. Whatever floats your boat. I'm sure the crowd will die down soon, too. Open the gates. Daddy needs his new hyper bong. Yeah. Did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... What? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you can just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, you know, okay, sure. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my God, I, I swear to God it was right here just a second ago. I, I, we, we were right here, I don't even know. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> you piece of shit! I thought you were a good guy, you're bad guy! You're a black hat hacker! <laughs> I was about to put some real cool mags on it, make it even cooler, but it was pretty cool already, and you lost it! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! You stupid fucking prick! Get out of here! I'm out of here. You're get out of here. This is my thing. This is my space. Walk away. Walk away, Renee. Walk away. Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. 
You need anything else or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. Nancy from the city comptroller. I actually would like to speak to you. Is this Nancy? Well, I'll tell you what, if it is or isn't, maybe you could pass on the message to Nancy because I'm not sure if you're aware, but on my block on 67 Rosebud, well, the Rosebud Avenue between uh, Terrace uh, Court and uh, Jarvis Street, in that, in that area, I have a pool in the back of my yard. It's a saltwater pool, and the neighborhood boys, they come around on their fucking BMX bikes, and they, they ride all over my, my, my rose garden, but that's not the, where it ends, is they take the little rocks and the little pieces of fertilizer and soil from my garden, and they throw it into my fucking pool, and all those goddamn little rocks, they get into the filter, and I gotta change that thing out every single time they do it. And those filters are about $700. So, I don't know if that's part of your jurisdiction, but maybe could you get somebody out here to figure that fucking shit out? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. And I've killed before. Now, legally, it was under, uh, it was in war. I have been, I have served, but I know what it's like to take a life. And I will do it to the children, or at least their fucking parents, because I'm out $1,400, and if you can't do the math, Nancy, that's two fucking filters. So if you'd get back to me as soon as you can, or, 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 or I guess if you can pass this on to Nancy, just let me know and I'll figure it out. And if it's one of your little shits crank calling me, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. You just wait. Do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Ah, 
Looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I gotta go restock my supply, and that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit and I'll have plenty more. I promise. I just, I just need some recovery time. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, what's up, Lordo? Y you know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S rank interrogation! VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? Cuz you know it, it gets hard, it gets tough down here in the slums. That's where it, sometimes you got to just eat, you got to do it. I mean, I don't have to. I have food usually, but I still I mean, I still eat poop every once in a while. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life so? store. Hopefully the slums Except are a little more chill now that we took out Nine Torque. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait, oh shit, it's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone, get him! Oh, uh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? You've been squished! Stepped 
on your ass. shot every now and again, you know? this hard come on let, let's get to this high on life place Look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird.
You know, look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. If only they were all this week, you know? Sniping at us? Shit, they just keep coming! Shoot. All right, that, that, that's that got to be the high on life store. Okay, okay. Nobody come in or I will scream. I can scream real, real, real loud. This is not screaming. That felt good. I'm a bitch. 
big Hyperbong fan. I love buying Hyperbong. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Trust me. I need the new Hyperbong. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Uh, yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Woo! These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. 
This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened, so, uh, I only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far, because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? <laughs> Pardon me. Watch it, why don't you? Holy shit, what, what the fuck? What, was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. <laughs> Don't know really why I liked him so much. He dragged me to this midnight launch. I don't even care about hyperbongs. But he made me come here and now he's dead. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm a little stunned. those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful, and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? I'm sad he's dead. I love Davy Glutes. But I shouldn't have, because he was bad and evil. Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. Using those things way better than Daddy Glue. Look at you!
Good idea to go in here. What is wrong with you? while since you used me last. I totally get it. I'm a genetic freak. I would not want to touch me either. Hey! Oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. That was a shitty encounter anyway. I'm glad we're leaving. Don't pull a muscle, bounty hunter. Jesus! It. It's it's winning a lot of awards. How do you feel about all that? I mean, honestly, for me.
Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen? We had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? You're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know? But uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Vamoose. Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam, boom, Francis Ford Coppola. He's back, baby. This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. How about this office, huh? This is where our dad works. Someday it'll be where we work. Well, that's not how politics works, but you get the idea. Genetics occasionally skips a generation. We may not look like him, but we like him. You're doing great work. You know, we've been tailing you for a while. Next time you play the game, look for us. You won't see us unless we want you to, because we're in stealth mode. Know what that means? You ever had a man die in your hands? I said buzz off. <laughs>